Hey you guys, I'm back with an update on uh, my carnivorous plants. Now my cape sundews are doing good. And as you remember, if you watched the last video, which I clearly recommend, obviously, or else, you know, you won't really know what's happening here. But uh, my, um, my S. purpureas, the purple pitcher plants, or northern pitcher plants, or Huntsman's Cup, or some of those other names for them. All kinds of names for them. But anyway, my Saracenia purpurea seeds are finally here. The guy who sold them to me, you should really check him out. Amazing Carnivores 66. No spaces and no A at the start. It's just amazing instead of amazing. But yeah, he's a really good seller as all kinds of plants including, of course, carnivorous plants, and uh, I really hope to be able to buy from him again, but without any further ado, I've been talking for like a minute here, here are the seeds. Get up real nice and close with them. Crap, you really can't see, but uh, yeah, my iPad's not very good with focus, but uh, yeah, as you can see, they're tiny and brown. This is the size of my finger, and that's the size of the seeds. So they're really small, like two millimeters. And uh, here's what I'm going to be cold stratifying them in. You have to cold stratify for about two, not two, like a month, in your fridge with wet sphagnum moss, preferably, so that it'll simulate winter and they will grow. It will change 10% of these growing to about 80 to 100. Now I counted and there's exactly 15 instead of 10, which to me is a good deal. And uh, yeah, so I got more than I needed. And that's really good. 